short and sweet. Hello folks. In spring 2023, I experimented a lot with the mid-journey text-to-image creation. Maybe you want to see my video about 100 futuristic musical instruments I created with mid-journey AI. A year later, text-to-video entered the stage of semi-maturity. Here is a short video with that method of a crashing car. The text input was short and the scene created from scratch looks pretty complex. We're in mid-2024 and today I'll show you the image to video state of the art. I started uh, with this image which I actually created using Midjourney AI a while ago. It's a wonderful still image with a mix of light rain and warm sunlight and lots of people on the street, quite complex. How is AI transforming this image into a video? For this experiment I use Runway Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. The first experiments are free of charge. After that you have to pay. I'll stick to the free version in this video. After uploading the street scene, I ask the system to create a video with A. And now comes my prompt. Slow camera pan to the left and raindrops. The result within half a minute or so are these five seconds of video. If I had needed the inspiration for a real-world movie scene, this would have been sufficient. A great shot with, yes, the camera pan to the left, a slow camera pan, and a few more raindrops. There are flaws in this video, like the umbrella, or the folks entering the house, and instead walking through the wall. I think I'll try to fix some of it later. First, all I want is a faster camera pan. This is my second prompt now. Handheld fast camera pan to the left and raindrops. The camera does not pan any faster. The scene remains in its state of slow motion. A new person appears with lots of depth of field. Quite lovely. I try to fix the inconsistencies when people enter the house. The third prompt is this. Handheld fast camera pan to the left, raindrops. Some people walk into the house. And indeed, they sort of walk properly into the entrance now. Two men appear on the left, one with his arm at the back and all of a sudden in front. A typical flaw in AI. I wonder if you've seen the car at the bottom right of the original image. Let's try to animate it. Handheld fast camera pan to the left, raindrops, some people walk into the house, the car on the right starts moving into the scene. The system obviously understands which car I'm talking about. Nicely done with motion blur. AI often has problems with objects in the background. It needs to understand that when the car passes by, the people in the background don't disappear. Runway Gen 3 Alpha Turbo seems to know about this and keeps the woman with the umbrella alive after the car has passed by. But again, the woman leaves the umbrella somewhere in the air. A handheld fast camera pan to the left, raindrops, some people walk into the house. The car on the right starts moving into the scene. The woman with the umbrella does not lose her umbrella. Will the image and prompt to video AI understand this? It does. Now let me see if the camera can invent the street, the surface of the street. This is my next prompt. Handheld fast camera pan to the bottom. Raindrop. Some people walk into the house. The car on the right starts moving into the scene. The woman with the umbrella does not lose her umbrella. Driver in the car. Only one single car. Excellent. Now, let us get even more ambitious. Nervous handheld camera pen to the bottom, raindrops. 
Some people walk into the house. The car on the right starts moving into the scene. The woman with the umbrella does not lose her umbrella. Don't forget that someone is driving the car. It's only one single car. Well, no. Drivers, yes. But cars vanishing. And while vanishing, even open the door. Back to the beginning. The new prompt is short. It only addresses the light. I can see the night fall. The sunny rainy afternoon scene turns into a night scene. Well, the woman lets her umbrella fly away. I think I need to mention this again. But there is no darkness in the scene. Maybe a glimpse of night at the very end of the five seconds. Strange dark people at high speed. I don't know why they are there. The next prompt goes like this. The afternoon scene turns into a night scene pretty fast. Don't forget that the woman in the center keeps holding her umbrella. Now something interesting happens. A camera cut. A totally new scene which I did not ask for but which is quite welcome with dark folks at high speed rushing through the slow motion street. This inspires me to ask for camera cuts in the next prompt. The camera moves to the people who enter the house. Second shot, the camera is in the house. We see them entering the house, heavy rain outside. Well, the camera motion is excellent. I did not expect the bright light in the house. There's a glitch in the center of the scene now. See the woman with the backpack. While entering the house, she disappears. And the backpack is now someone else's backpack. My wish to have the camera in the house looking outside is not fulfilled. Every time you re-invoke the image to video process, something new is being generated. Often better sometimes worse. So for the end of this experiment, let me keep the prompt the same. The camera moves to the people who enter the house. Second shot, the camera is in the house. We see them entering the house, heavy rain outside. And for this experiment, let the AI render 10 instead of 5 seconds. Very interesting result. I don't know what the camera cut is supposed to do, but it does look good. The key question is, what do we need this image and prompt to video for? For fun? That would be reason to use it enough. For inspiration, maybe for a novel? Or, well, for a movie scene? Yeah! AI text to text is amazing. Text to image as well. And image to video looks very promising. We'll encounter less errors and flaws and enjoy longer videos in future AI updates. Well, thanks for watching and have a good day.